This is my first After Effects tutorial from my new office, studio or whatsoever. And for the beginning, it's a quick one. Last week, I was at the FMX in Stuttgart City, Germany. But what the heck is the FMX? FMX, which is the abbreviation for Film and Media Exchange, is an international convention dedicated to animation, visual effects, where you can meet mostly fellow VFX creatives. There were interesting presentations from big studios on how they created the VFX for Hollywood blockbusters. But to be honest, I was mostly interested in the Adobe Workshop, which was held by Robert, who I know for a while now, and who created this faux product commercial, which Adobe uses for all the promos of their 3D-related stuff. And Robert showed something very new in After Effects that makes my workaround to build a depth map for depth of field in the 3D scene obsolete. And it's even simpler. But I had to ask him one question. Yes. Yeah, the thing with the 3D is it just in, in After Effects beta for now? Uh, yeah, it is still in beta, but I'm very sure that it'll make its way to the official version soon. Now, let's jump right into After Effects. In my initial tutorial, I built a scene mixed with 3D solid layers and true 3D models and used a frontally positioned 3D light with a fall off to fake a depth map. With a depth map, I could then apply depth of field to the scene. This technique works well with simple primitives, but fails when dealing with complex 3D models. But now you can create a depth map out of the 3D scene in After Effects, currently in After Effects Beta. And you need just two steps. First, you pre-compose all 3D layers, 3D models and 3D cameras. Second, you look for the 3D channel extract effect and apply it to the pre-comp. Now look at that. It has instantly created a depth map for you. The 3D channel extract effect existed before, but only worked on multi-layer sequence files like EXR files that contain a depth pass. As usual, you can use a depth map to feed it into the camera lens blur effect or into your favorite depth of field plugin. In my case, the depth of field effect from Frischluft. Don't forget to select effects and masks so that the layer's 3D channel extract effect will be considered. And when none of the objects is in focus, you can adjust the range of the map with a black and white point. In simple words, it determines how the 3D gradient is distributed along the z-space. In my case, I make sure that the foremost 3D object is completely white. For the depth of field effect, it means that 100% white is in focus and 100% black gets the maximum blur radius. Just for the record, you can also use the depth matte effect in the same category in conjunction with the advanced 3D renderer to cut 3D objects off or isolate them, depending on their positions in Z-space. This is very useful for compositing, for example, when you need to place a 2D layer between different 3D objects. Another effect you can now apply to true 3D objects is the fog 3D effect, which creates fog into the depth. And that's it, guys. I hope you liked this quick tip. See you next time. By the way, you can watch my complete FMX experience on Patreon. I'm a bit late, but I hope that I can make it to the Ghostbusters presentation. FMX, I'm coming.